as soon as I change this knob, the frequency will change. And as soon as frequency is changed, I can see some changes in the output. Hi, welcome to RG Lecture. So this channel is dedicated to the students of physics. And this particular playlist of AC circuit contains all the videos which are a part of syllabus of graduation level physics. It can be BSc physics, physics honors, electronics, electrical engineering and many such courses. So consider sharing these playlists and videos into your college and class groups. Also join my telegram group. Link is given in the description. Hi, so in this video, I will cover the difference between the resistance, reactance and impedance along with experimental approach. So this video is actually for grad students of graduation, but class 12 students also can understand if they watch the full video. Okay, so let's start with our today's content. These were the slides of today's lecture. So let's start. Now we have uh, heard the terms of reactance and impedance in AC circuits. Okay, and we have seen the, the concept of resistance in DC circuits. Now, what is the actual difference between these two? Now, consider a DC circuit. Let us consider a DC circuit first. So, in DC circuit, we connect a battery as a voltage source. We connect a constant source of battery. Okay, suppose the battery is of 5 volt battery. And let's assume there is a resistor. And uh, since I want to just explain the topic, so I connect here a rectangular box. Okay. Now what is inside the rectangular box? It can be anything. Okay. Because I don't care. I just want to explain my topic. Okay. Now, for example, you make some changes in this circuit. There is some circuit inside this box. Okay. You make some changes in the circuit. Now what will happen to resistance then? So answer is nothing will happen to resistance. If I have connected a resistance of say 100 ohms in my circuit, it will behave in the same way. Whether I make some changes in my circuit or whether I do not make any changes in my circuit. Okay, so my resistance will continue to be of 100 ohms and it will continue to work in the same way. Whether or not I have made any change in the circuit. So basically to conclude what I said in the last few minutes is resistance does not react. Resistance does not react to the changes in my circuit. So these are the things which are valid on DC circuits. So that is why we call them as resistance. But we talk when we talk about AC circuit, we use reactive components. What we use, we use reactive components which reacts to the changes in the circuit. For example, if we consider an AC circuit, I will explain this in a minute. For example, in AC circuit, we consider inductor, we consider capacitor. Now, these elements are reactive elements. Okay, these elements are called as reactive elements. They react to whatever changes I will do in my circuit. For example, the resistance across the inductor is called as XL and you know its formula is omega L. If you do not know, there will be a video in my playlist which will explain it. If I talk about capacitor, there is a resistance offered by a capacitor. Its formula is given by 1 upon omega C. Okay. Now what are these terms called as omega? Now omega is generally referred to as 2 pi F. What is omega? Omega is equivalent to 2 pi f. So basically I can write xl is equals to the 2 pi fl and I can write xc is equals to the 1 upon 2 pi fc. So 2 is a constant, pi is a constant, l is the inductance and it is also constant. For example, if I want to make a circuit, I can take the value of inductor to be 0 0.5 Henry. So it will remain 0 pi, 0 0.5 Henry only. If I want to take a capacitor, I can take a capacitor of 0 0.1 microfarad. So it will be that only. So essentially I can say XL is directly proportional to frequency and XC is inversely proportional to frequency. Now what is the meaning of these two terms? Okay, for that we have to consider a AC circuit. So let's start. Theory is completed here. So this is the circuit of basic Ohm's law. Okay. So you can see there is a constant battery source, constant voltage is coming out of this knob. 
this knob is fixed we don't change this knob and we are measuring the values of voltage we are measuring the value of ammeter by changing the rheostat okay that's it simplicity nothing nothing reactive everything is working fine but whenever we connect an ac circuit we connect frequency generator in our input what we connect we connect frequency generator in our input okay so frequency generator is usually connected in the input side and this device is called a cro cathode ray oscilloscope this device is, this device is connected in the output and what is the meaning of frequency generator i can generate any frequency starting from 1 hertz till 1 megahertz it all depends upon me so as soon as i change this knob the frequency will change and as soon as frequency is changed i can see some changes in the output sometime output will be, output will spread out sometime output output will increase its length so there will be some change in the output as soon as i change the input so basically these types of things are called as reactive things and that is why instead of using the word resistance we call both of these terms as reactance because they react to my changes in the circuit so i hope the concept of reactance is clear okay so now let's talk about the impedance now impedance is nothing but just the resultant vector of both what is impedance suppose this is my resistance this is my reactance so impedance is just the resultant vector of both resistance as well as reactance so since it contains both the elements non reactive as well as reactive so we have named it as a different term which is impedance so impedance is nothing but just the resultant of a resistance as well as a reactance it can be xc it can be xl it can be anything and the work which all three of them do is same to offer the opposition this is the resultant opposition this is the opposition in the dc mode this is the opposition in the reactive mode you can say not dc mode it is the opposition whether in ac circuit or in dc circuit so the unit of all three of them is same but the basic difference why we call it as reactance is they react it does not react and this is the resultant of both non reactive as well as reactive oppositions which we offer in the circuit and there is a one more thing when students are new so they connect a battery in ac circuits because uh, they have never used ac circuit in life so this is how <laughs> people or students or basically lab attendant makes fun of them so see you in the next video